Well, this is another episode of Thompson's Gym, and I'm Jennifer Thompson. Uh, we're getting in a bench workout. I took a little bit of time off after the Arnold, about a week, and so we're getting back into it. I dropped back about 10 pounds in my regular sets, uh, keep my heavy hold about the same, and getting in a good uh, bench workout. We have our friend Bill Gillespie comes down from um, Liberty College. He's the head strength coach um, for the Liberty College football team in Virginia former strength coach for the Seattle Seahawks. So we're all traveling to uh, Denmark for the IPF World Bench Press Championships in about four weeks. So we're uh, getting straight on our training there for that. And then I also have a little special video for um, YouTuber Meg Squats. She and I have been talking a little bit and she wanted a little advice on her bench press. So I do a special little section for her and really for you if you guys need a little help with your bench. Enjoy. Who's the worst person you have to lift off for? Is it Bill Gillespie? Yep. He says he won't help at all. I'm like, I try. Try <laughs> 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 some. Yeah, but I don't help. <laughs> well, Jeff was worried in Atlanta because that guy struggled to get you the weight, and he's like, I'm doing more than that. How's he going to get up? He wanted me to come lift off for him. Yeah. And he goes, the guy's put it right out there for me. I'm like, Bill's not really helping much. Yeah, I try to help, but my shoulder just think they just won't do it right you know these are my old ones we'll do the three bands in here yeah it's a truck yeah i would tell you girls all right come on now so ty come on ready come on man there you go Come on. Five. Again. Tight. 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 Nice. Ten. <laughs> this, this is what I see when I when I when I walk in there. I walk around the corner and Bill's like this. I don't know how it goes. And I'm like, Bill, you okay? And he's like, I'm like, like I thought he hurt like he got weight on the bottom. Like, did you get hurt? He's like Oh, like, what's going on? He's like, and he just points. And Jenny Olsen, who's like a little 123 pound Swedish girl, is completely shirtless. Yeah. Because the shirt to bench, and she's either done or I think she just finished she's lifting. Yeah. Well, she's just standing there, and she's model hot. Yeah. And he's just like, good talk, really, just yeah. pointing and like. <laughs> and then she, you know how this goes in? Yeah, you just got to roll it half. I do every time I start it, I want to snap it. <laughs> and I'm laughing at him and he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes out of him and you don't understand. She's like, well, like the same size as my daughter, I feel kind of dirty. And he's like, he's like, he's like, how much you think it would cost for me to call home? I need to call my wife. <laughs> and he did, he went out and called his wife. He goes, I, I got to call my wife. He just left and called his wife. He was throwing, he goes, she just walked back here. He looked sure. Just standing there. He goes, I tried not to, but I couldn't help but looking. Like, you can't not look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's on camera. Oh. Yeah, but, but this is the key. When something happens, someone goes, 
You gotta edit that out, Jen. <laughs> so then when I go edit through, the last 30 seconds. You need all the editing. When I go through and I watch it all, I hear this, uh, this may not be in the video. <laughs> you don't say that. It's fair there was one whole conversation <laughs> on chlamydia. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I think uh, Jeff was like, this may not make the video. <laughs> Please don't. Because you that said was... my about your wife doesn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Matt, Matt, what if Matt, Matt said something about it and I go, I'm all like, signs of chlamydia. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's what it was. And what a big great until that part. <laughs> uh, who is the 275 er from Indiana? Did he die? George, remember George yes. off the Yeah, he died, died in right? a car accident. Died really? in a car wreck, yeah. Oh, that's right. Where is he from? He's from Tonga. Tonga? Yeah. 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 From Tonga, but he lived in Indiana. He worked for Hummer. Yeah. The AMC. Yeah. Huh? Hummer, I think, isn't it? Like, he uh, worked for the AMC. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but he was, he competed for Tonga at 275. He was good. I mean, he tastes top three once or twice. Yeah. Huge guy. You know, he had the tattoos on him and stuff. Yeah. So we get on, you know, the airplane, some of the airplanes in Europe, I mean, the seats, I have trouble fitting in. So we get in and me and Jen like get out. We were flying probably to Copenhagen. I think it was from back from Denmark to Copenhagen or from this then to Copenhagen. It's like a little small thing. Me and Jen get on and we sit down in our seats and there's two seats in front of us. We see Bill at 350 at the time and George is probably 300 when he wasn't coming down. Walking down the aisle, I'm like, there's no way. Because the two seats in front of us are open. I'm like, no, no, it can't be. And sure enough, they both. Like one sits down the other one like that, yeah, out the window. I was like, <laughs> they couldn't have sat side by side across the entire plane. Let alone one side of the plane. So Jen's like, yeah, I'll just switch for funny. Yeah. So Jen, Jen got up and switched. With one of you, I think she sat with you. Oh, that's right, yeah. That's the best flight ever. Because Bill's like shoulder went like this, and I just had to go like this. It was the best nap. I love it. Um, this is a special part of Thompson's gym. I was uh, speaking with Meg from Meg Squats YouTube channel, and she'd asked for a little advice on her bench press. After reviewing her video, I noticed she had great setup, but like a lot of benchers. She doesn't have a really great throw off her chest. Kind of a little loose there, really need to be tight and throw it. So one of the recommendations I had for her is to incorporate what we call t-shirt presses into the um, end of our workouts. A t-shirt press is just like it sounds. You, when you're benching, you wanna bring it to your t-shirt and only touch your t-shirt, not your chest. So the idea is when you're bringing it down, you're staying tight, you got that bottom end strength of tight, and you're so tight that when that press comes, you're ready to One throw One of the it. things that we try to do when we're benching is we try not to press the bar from our chest, we try to throw it. So you wanna um, pretend like you're pushing something or throwing something. The idea is from here, you're really flaring your lats and throwing it off your chest. And that's what we try to mimic with the t-shirt presses, is we wanna bring it down really controlled, do an exaggerated pause, stay super tight, and then throw it off the chest as fast as you can. So the idea is to get speed from the chest to the top, but stay very, very tight on your chest. And then it's five individual reps with exaggerated pauses. So I'll demonstrate. So we get a good setup. I try to get high on top of my shoulders, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Good arch, good foot placement. That's the idea of the t-shirt presses, is to really work the strength off your chest and really work the throw. Too many people rest the bar on their chest. When you rest the bar on the chest, you lose your speed. So that's why we use t-shirt presses. Hope that helps, Meg. <laughs>